Good morning, everyone. So I'm finally here before midnight <laughs> today. And I just wanted to come and talk to you because I've got so much going through my head. I've been up early this morning, got my workouts in, finally showered, and now I am just ready to get started with this day. But there are a few things that I was thinking about. So if you noticed in my title, I wrote, how long will it last? And I had something else in mind when I first um, thought of the live video that I was going to do today. But as I was walking um, my kids to school, I noticed that the crossing guards were actually wearing a different cover or hat today. Um, so I asked one of them, I said, hey, why are you wearing that, um, the different cover today? And she said actually that today they are having a ceremony for a fallen comrade. So it's to show, to honor um, their fallen com comrade today. And so I tried to explain it to my second, my second grader. And at first she didn't quite understand. And I told her we can talk to daddy more about that. Um, and so as I was thinking about it, you know, I thought to myself, how long will our kids' innocence last? You know, um, being in a military community, it's very prevalent that we have to talk about death and um, things like that. So I, I kind of spoke to her about it really quickly before school, and it seems like she got the gist of it um, after a while. But that was one of the things that I thought of. How long will our kids' innocence last, you know? Um, today's world is just such a hard world to live in. Um, and then on that same subject, when I was taking a shower, I had like my music on and I was listening to my Latin, Latin moving music today. And, um, the song Despacito came on. How many of you have kids who love the song Despacito? So my daughter actually, she loved it. Um, we were at a trampoline park, I think it was in Utah. So this is over a year ago and she heard it, she liked it. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll download that on my phone. Well, little did I know the words that it says. And again, I uh, was listening to it and uh, I was talking to my husband about what the words meant. <laughs> and I will not translate those words to my daughter, but... <laughs> Um, if any of you have kids who uh, listen to that song, if they don't know what it means, then thank goodness, because some of those words, some of those things are a little too adult for my child. So anyway, she hasn't listened to it in a long time, but anyways, I like it. <laughs> I like this song. It reminds me of me and my husband when we were dating, we'd go dancing. Um, anyways, uh, it's I think it's a fun song. But again, our children's innocence. Would you tell your child what the song says if it's a little too hot and heavy? Or would you just let them go blindly? Or would you just like not let them listen to it at all? So anyways, that's another subject on my how long will it last? Our children's innocence. I don't know. It's such a hard thing these days. And then the last thing that I was originally going to talk about. So my son, you know, recently I turned 40. And uh, my son told us the other day, or he's actually told me quite a few times, but we were talking again on Sunday, uh, no, Saturday, I don't know, one of the last few days um, about, um, I don't know, we were at dinner and he told me, he said, mom, when you're old and wrinkled, I'm not going to want to kiss you anymore because I don't want to kiss you when you're old and wrinkled. And I'm like, well, thank goodness I'm not old and wrinkled. <laughs> so um, anyways, and so the purpose that I was talking about was like, how long will it last? How long has your children, have your children kept giving you kisses and cuddles? Have they ever told you anything like that? Like they won't kiss you when you turn, I don't know, 50. <laughs> Benjamin actually told me something like 80. Um, not this, this last time he mentioned it, but the time before that, he said that when I'm 80 and I'm old and wrinkled he won't want to kiss me anymore so I'm like oh I have 40 more years yay so <laughs> but um the reason why I wanted to mention that because um he you know I mentioned the other day also he said I don't look old and I'm like well maybe it has to do with the stuff that I've been using I feel so much better now with my face um and I don't know if you can tell um I showered let's see it's been a little bit and you can kind of tell my skin's tightening up because I haven't moisturized because I wanted to do it in front of you guys to show you just how amazing this climate control is. It is um, anti-aging. It's an extra moisturizer. Um, it actually helps improve the side effects of rosacea, 
Eczema and acne, it restores hydration, um, it's anti-inflammatory, and it has soothing ingredients. So, so we can actually soothe irritations and help neutralize redness. Um, so me, I, I use this and I actually, <laughs> another reason why I wanted the whole how long will it last was because, see, I still have about probably about a third of the bottle, no, a fourth of the bottle in it, but I found out um, not long after starting to use this that I actually was using too much. So um, I actually ordered some more. So when I get that new bottle, I will put the date on it and I will tell you how long it lasts. But for, but for now, um, I just wanted to show you, um, I started doing it a little differently now. So, <laughs> and so I showed you earlier how my skin was feeling a little tight because um, I was waiting to um, apply it when you guys were here. Hey, Sarah, it's good to see you. <laughs> uh, I love your red hair, by the way. <laughs> um, so, and now if you take a look, the it's starting to moisturize and it's, it's not as tight anymore. It's starting to hydrate. And my skin, just feeling my skin right now, it feels so much better. It was like feeling tight, like I almost had a face mask on before, um, before I put it on. And now it actually feels really good. <laughs> and I still have the rest of my routine to do, but as of now, my face feels so much better. So I will let you know how long this lasts. But in the meantime, I wanted to also talk to you about Mother's Day. It's in how many days? Today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, six more days. So a lot of times we get flowers for Mother's Day. Guys, if you're watching, Listen to this. All right, so you spend what? An average of maybe $50 on a bouquet of roses, right? A dozen roses. How long will those last? A week, maybe? And um, then what, they're gone, right? Well, if you decide to go with something that you want to last more, guys, listen, <laughs> or ladies, if your husband has told you, hey, what do you want for Mother's Day? Let them know, all right? In a starter kit, you get any color of your choice. You get a gloss, mine's almost empty, I have ordered some more. And then you get a remover, okay? So, cause this lipstick, it lasts a really long time, let me tell you. So like I said before, a bouquet of roses will last you maybe a week. I've heard some people say it lasts longer, maybe two weeks, I don't know. But then it's gone. These will last at least four months. They will last at least four months and, and it only costs $55. So what would you rather have ladies? <laughs> what would you rather have? Or guys, what do you think your wife would like to have? I know what I'd like to have. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to let you know that for the first time ever, I am going to be giving away a Mother's Day goodie bag. Listen, a Mother's Day goodie bag to somebody out there. We have so many deserving mothers out there. So I want to tell you this. Please, please think of somebody in your life. Invite somebody in your life that you think is deserving of a wonderful Mother's Day goodie bag. Invite them to our group. Tell me her name. And then tell me why you think she deserves a Mother's Day goodie bag. I don't know what's going to be in the goodie bag yet, but it's going to be great. Let me tell you, because this stuff is amazing and I want to share the love and I want you to help me share the love too. Please help me share the love. I feel amazing. It doesn't even have to be lip glosses that are bright or a lip color that's bright. You can give her a, a lighter color if she's more into the lighter colors or if she has some issues with dry skin, rosacea, eczema, let her try one of these. I would love to get one of these for Mother's Day. I mean, I got it for myself, but <laughs> um, 
amazing stuff. Face care, if that's what she's into. Um, Cinegents, lips, it's not just about the lip color, it's about so much more. Face care, feeling good about yourself. And what's, what's Mother's Day then? Helping your wife or mother feel great about the things she does. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to bring that up to you. I have to finish getting ready. I've got a ton of stuff on my plate to do today. But again, remember, invite anyone that you think is deserving. Let me know their name. Let me know their name and tell me why they deserve a Mother's Day goodie bag. I will be posting in my group um, a, a few bundles that I have available. So let me know and we will get you hooked up. All right. I hope you guys have a magnificent Monday and I hope to see you soon. Bye.